Yeah, check this thing out, guys. It's a five ton first co unit. Five ton. Six zero first co. So yeah, this thing, this model has been obsoleted. In this case, we actually replaced the outdoor unit. And since this coil is rated for 410, we swapped out the TXV over there. If this unit was older and it wasn't rated for 22 or for 410, we could have would have kind of been in a bind. Uh, yeah, they don't make four tons, I guess, and they don't make five tons in heat pump. They do them in water only now. So yeah, we have a building here, and I think about 80% of the units on the uh, in these in this building are all four four or five tons, and we're just stuck kind of making them work. I think we can custom order a coil if we get this model number to some of these coil companies. But that's like uh, several weeks out and it doesn't come with a good warranty or product support or anything. And then what are we gonna do? How are we gonna replace that thing? Look at, look at this thing, they didn't give us access. So we have a whole, whole building where we get referred out because no one else wants to work on these and we'll, t we'll take the work, but first call won't make a coil for these, there's nothing. So I don't know what we're gonna do when these switch to R454 slash B or R32. The fact that these manufacturers can spec out a whole building and put these in it and then just can completely stop supporting the product is kind of mind blowing to me. So that's uh kind of what I wanted to share this there's more I mean we see stuff like this this is the probably the worst one I've seen but uh, this isn't the first time I've seen something like this, this is just the one that I, I I come to pretty frequently so yeah interesting little thing residential these are all this is in a condo complex so this whole building every single well 80 percent of the people who live here that bought condos here they don't even never know they never know this before they buy the unit it's not I don't think these people are disclosing it. Most people, most of the homeowners don't know it till I show up. So, but, or someone else, someone else shows up. And then uh, what, ha what usually happens is another HVAC guy goes out and then they don't want to work on it, but they don't tell them why. And then they ask their neighbor and I get referred out from here. One of our videos, one of our early, uh, we have a Bosch time-lapse video that was in this building. We replaced the TXV on that one too. So we've done two heat pump swap outs on the roof and swap the TXV. We've done several other repairs in this building. Got a lot of referrals in this building, so cool deal. Yeah, maybe maybe someone here watching knows something I don't. But if you come across one of these, there is no replacement model that I found. I'll pull up. I'll show the email from Johnstone that was from First Co. First Co. Or I contacted Johnstone, who's usually my First Co. company, and they reached out to First Co. I actually reached out to other suppliers too, and then I reached out to First Co. Personally, gave them a call, and they said, hey. I mean, I was actually trying to get a coil for it. They wouldn't even give me a coil. So they, as far as I know, there's there's nothing available to really work on these to or to replace them. So yeah, I, I checked out alternative manufacturers, couldn't find anything. Everyone only makes up to three tons. So there's this one building that I showed this one at and then I've seen one other job or one other, there's a restaurant that has three four ton ones in it here in san diego but these are just super uncommon and i think maybe they just weren't selling enough and so they stopped making them but it's kind of crazy to me that they don't and you can't like even custom order anything or like they, they won't make it so yeah nuts is what it is but that's this one if uh not not a lot not mm, yeah, sorry for not putting out a lot of videos. We've been super slammed with work. We, uh, we've got a location that we are moving into, we're in the process of, so I've been working late, doing stuff in the evening pretty much every day. I haven't had time to edit videos, so we will be hopefully getting more video content out. I've got a backlog of, con of footage that I need to edit, and I'll try and be editing some videos in the next few days.